On a social level, conservatives are losing their foothold here in the United States. The left has Hollywood, mainstream news except for Fox, of course. They've got public education, higher education, science in general, and then, of course, big tech. The right has seemingly always had law enforcement and the military. But the right is starting to lose control of those two things, and they're not very happy about it. There are some who say things like, nothing can stop what is coming. I'm from Oakland Park, and I'm here for the children. There is zero evidence that COVID-19 exists in the world. PCR tests are recalled. This is a pandemic. Fake virus, bioweapon jab. Fake president. You will not experiment on my children. It's always been about the children. We know you're coming for the children. We will not comply. We will answer to God. People are waking up. Nothing can stop what is coming. You vote yes, you will all be tried for crimes against humanity. Children don't disappear. 800,000 children in the United States disappear. Where do they go? Human trafficking is the real pandemic. The mainstream media doesn't cover it. There's no virus. The media is the virus. The politicians, Hollywood, are all involved. Please vote no today. I'm begging you. I want, to think you, I want you to think real hard about these children. Trump won. Yes, nothing can stop what is coming, implying that there's some sort of upcoming day of reckoning where American traditionalism will reign supreme and leftists and degenerates will cower in fear at the greatness of it all, right? You know, as if all of this that people are talking about is somehow a good thing, as if this day of reckoning came through, right? It's usually paired with some sort of religious belief. And they say this as if any of this is even possible without there being a far-right takeover of the government. Some even being fine with the notion of Trump being installed rather than even elected. And this is usually paired with this false notion that there's no such thing as right-wing authoritarianism. That authoritarianism can only come from the left. This type of belief typically gets parroted on places like Gab, Bitchute, Parler, Getter, and a lot of right-tilting, independent commentary that claims to be all about the truth, or the real truth, or the, the real news, right? I mean, it's just like the people who claim, you know, they put skeptic in their name are usually only skeptical about a, a select set of things and everything else. Well, anyway. Yes, the, the real news, everyone. Sometimes this notion of a day of reckoning even makes its way into mainstream rightward thought. Even sometimes on Fox News. But it's usually done in a little bit more subdued way than that. And the more that law enforcement and the military show that they have the backs of the left, and not so much the crazies on the right, at least not as much as they used to, then the worse that the right is going to become, because they're going to feel cornered. The left felt cornered during Trump's presidency, so I understand the feeling. But that doesn't mean we should try to meet halfway with people who are trying to promote monoculturalism and religious nationalism. But there very well could be something very awful being planned by a lot of these people. They're angry. They feel cornered, as I said. And many of them are only getting support in places that promote the most outrageous conspiracy theories. This is where all the people who have broken the TOS of the big tech platforms have went. So these are the most extreme of echo chambers where people become more and more radicalized as time goes on. So yeah, it really does look like we should have allowed at least some of the more reasonably acting traditionalists to have their say on some of these big tech platforms. I mean, the way it is right now, people can't even have good debates 
with people who have those kinds of beliefs because YouTube will say, oh, well, you, you mentioned these words. You said these phrases, you know. Heck, my video right here might get taken down just because I had a clip of that crazy lady. But let me guess, that lady isn't crazy. She's a real patriot who just has a difference in opinion, right? You know, people who talk about gender being a spectrum need to be stopped at all costs because they're destroying America, right? But people like this lady, no, no, they're, they're just real patriots who have a difference in opinion. Look, I think we should be allowing all types of mindsets to have their say. They can be debated. They can have sunlight. And sunlight can be the best disinfectant, you know. But the way things are going right now, yeah, so many of these crazy far-rightists are mixing with the people that aren't so far-right, and they're becoming more solid. And we don't need that. Okay, we don't need the right to become more radicalized. But what are we going to do? We can't seem to even have a conversation. So, guess that's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching.